I'm covering my hands with a cream that glows under ultraviolet light. This represents the bacteria that is normally on your hands. If I then quickly wash my hands, and replace them back under the ultraviolet light, you can see where the cream remains in the creases of the skin and around the fingernails. By pressing fingertips on the agar plate, some of the bacteria on the hand are transferred onto the jelly. The agar plate is incubated overnight and this is the result the next morning. Each little white dot is the result of one bacterial cell from the hand multiplying millions of times overnight. Your clothing, jewellery and watches carry bacteria so they mustn't come into contact with patients. Before you clean your hands, roll up your sleeves, tuck in your tie if you have one, take off your wrist watch and any rings with stones or ridges on them. Only smooth wedding rings like this one are acceptable, but you still need to clean under and around them. To squirt some alcohol hand rub into the palm of one hand, rub the fingertips and the fingernails into it, spread it into the palm of the other hand and do the same with the fingertips and the fingernails. Make sure that all surfaces of the hands are covered, the outside of the thumbs and keep rubbing until the alcohol hand rub has dried. The amount of rub that you use depends on the size of your hands and the brand of alcohol. Put the rub into the palm of one hand. As you spread it across the palm with your fingertips, you're starting to decontaminate both the palm and your fingertips. Pass some onto the other palm and spread it with the other fingertips. Now work on the back of both hands and in between your fingers. If you are wearing a wedding ring, make sure that you clean around and under the ring. The idea is to cover all the surfaces of both hands up to the wrists and keep rubbing until the alcohol dries. Wet your hands using warm but not hot water. Use about a teaspoon of soap, covering the palms, working in between the fingers Again, on the backs of the hands, in between the fingers. Interlock the fingers so that the fingernails are cleaned. Cover the outside of the thumbs and up to the wrists. This should take about 15 seconds or two to three verses of happy birthday to you. Rinse well and dry the hands thoroughly. Turn off the taps either using the paper towel or your elbow. Avoid a common mistake. Make sure that you open the bin with your foot, not with your hands. It's important to wet your hands with comfortably warm water before you put the soap on. This stops the soap drying out your hands. Use about one teaspoon's worth of soap. Rub the palms together to make sure they're completely covered with soap up to the wrists. Then rub between the fingers. Now use your palms on the backs of the hands and again between the fingers. Next, to clean the fingertips and nails, interlock the fingers and ripple them like this and rotate them against each other. Finally, rub around the outside of each thumb. The whole process should take about 15 seconds. Rinse off all the soap with water and dry your hands carefully with a paper towel. Dry the palms and backs of your hands to help remove any remaining bacteria. 
work the towel between the fingers and underneath and around your nails. Use the towel or your elbow to turn off the tap. Open the pedal bin with your foot to dispose of the towel.